style of deck. He's not yeah. looking to get too fancy. I mean, the decks he plays are, they're interactive, they're disruptive, and they're fundamentally looking to attack. There's a lot of similarities with the decks that he tries to build and the decks that Brian Kibler builds. And it would be very weird to see Kibler with a Viscera Seer engine woven into his Night of the Reliquary Bruise. So an island and a Cerebrus just to start there for Rudy. He kept his cards on top very quickly. I believe the cards he looked at were Pyroclasm and Remand. Wesco with a Marsh Flats. Sacrifice had to get an under, or excuse me, an Overgrown Tomb, not an Underground Tomb. Overgrown Tomb. Go to 17. Noble Hierarch passed the turn. Briska, pretty simple turn of a Sulfur Falls and the passing of the turn back to Wesco. Wesco does have a discard spell in hand in Inquisition of Kozlek. Perhaps he leads out with that. And he will. Looks like Briscoe will play a remand on that discard spell. An ideal world, not the type of card you're looking to remand. It's cheap, and it's disruptive towards the card you drew as well. Pretty informative of Briscoe trying to get towards something with that remand. Let's go with just the planes. The follow-up is a voice of resurgence. He'll pass the turn back over to Briska. Picked up a copy of Olivia Voldaren. Here comes Pyroclasm. That'll take care of the voice and the noble hierarch. So an element of the token will be on the way here for Wesco, and there that is. We'll pass the turn back over to Craig. Who I really have Inquisition in hand. I really enjoy watching Wesco play too, because even though he plays these seemingly straightforward creature beatdown decks pace of play is very measured. He's very thoughtful. Doesn't give away anything in terms of body language at the table. I think that's a very important skill. There's a lightning bolt to take care of the elemental token for Wesco. Deceiver Exar will be discarded. And you see Briska's hand. He's left with a copy of Olivia Valderin, an island, and a polluted delta. Yeah, a little, a little odd with the lightning bolt there. I feel like Deceiver Exarch has enough value that if Craig wants to take the lightning bolt, you're happy keeping the Exarch. I think maybe maybe make him make a decision on what card he wants to take? Well, I mean, you, you rip Splinter Twin, maybe you're good to go. Uh, just the, I guess if he's worried that Craig has a follow-up of a bunch of creatures, maybe that token gets out of control, but that uh, felt slightly preemptive given that the Deceiver XR seems like a valuable card to me. I think what's always interesting from watching Craig play is he, he kind of plays these decks a little bit different than everybody else does, because if you think about it, he's been playing the same style of deck for what it feels like six, seven, eight years now. Mm -hmm. And he's always had success with it, which means he certainly knows what he's doing with this sort of archetype. There's a thought so he's to take care of the Olivia Ball there and gonna leave Briska with some lands. Rudy picks up a copy of Cascade Bluffs, he'll pass the turn back. So I always feel like when you're watching Wesco, you can certainly learn something about the game when you're watching him play. Definitely. Uh, you know, he very measured approach. I call these kind of magic players the the blue steel magic play. It's always the same move. You know, like he's been rebuilding the same deck now for the better part of a decade, but uh, he does mix it up from format to format. He's not playing the same 75. Uh, you know, in Grand Prix Detroit, he had a very deep run with a, with a Boros Speeddown strategy, which is a, a lot of the same stuff. Some of the creature disruptive, you have a solid curve, but he's in a very different place in this tournament. Kitchen Finks here for Wesco. You saw Briska pick up a copy of Splinter Twin. Maybe looking, maybe making that Lightning Bolt play, as you mentioned, a little bit hasty. Yeah, I, I just think that Rudy did not value the Deceiver X arc as highly as I would have. And now the game is sort of collapsing here. Rudy had a pretty promising start here as well. But the discard spells and uh, Wesco's mana deficiency has been really punishing on Rudy thus far. Copy Kasali Pride Mage pre-combat, which means that Kitchen Finks will be a little bit bigger as it works its way into the red zone. Briscoe will draw cards, a copy of Tassiger. I'm going to delve away the whole graveyard, I imagine, here. Or at least most of it. But the mana to activate Tassiger as well. We're going to leave, looks like Deceiver Exarch an Olivia and a Pyroclasm in the graveyard. At least that's what Briska's considering doing. And he will. There's an island and a passing of the turn. Last card in hand for Rudy. It's a copy of Splinter Twin. Let's go with Path to Exile in hand at the ready for Tassiger. He's going to use that right now. We'll get an activation of Tassiger. Two cards will be turned over. Bloodstained Mire is one. Looks like Watery Grave or Pluto Delta. The artwork is similar as two. Either way, it's a land. They don't really work their way into the equation. Rudy with a pretty threatening graveyard right now. Yeah. Saber XR could yield a kill, and 
Pyroclasm and Olivia are very potent against Craig's board right now. I believe Wesco's last card may be Deceiver Exarch. Oh, excuse me, maybe Abrupt Decay? Yeah. And if that's the case, he's got a great answer to the Deceiver Exarch. And also, just at this point, Haskell Solly Pride Mage on the table to take care of Splinter Twin, too. Yeah. So you really have to like Wesco's positioning here. He's got a pretty good clock. Got an answer in hand for the combo. And he gets to draw a card every turn. A great mixture of straightforward disruption, like the discard spells and removal spells, backed up by threats that are themselves disruptive. Kitchen Finks is good against the removal spells, and Kasali Pride Mage does a lot of work to muck up the combo. Wesco will untap. He'll take a draw step here. Again, Abrupt Decay in hand. Looks like he may have picked up a copy of Path to Exile. Either way, he's coming in for five points of damage. Bricks are going to go down to nine. Lightning Bolt to draw here for Rudy. He'll pass the turn back very quickly over to Wesco. Wesco will take a draw step. Didn't get a great look at it. Looks like it may have been a basic forest. He'll play that as his land for the turn. Lightning Bolt going to go after the Pride Mage. Let's go down to six. Here's a copy to Seaver XR. Looks like he'll be tapping down the Godless Shrine. Wesco will let that resolve. Frisco will draw a card, copy of Grim Lava Mancer. He's going to go for the W right now. No time like the present. Wesco does have Abrupt Decay for that. He'll use that. Here is Grim Lava Mancer. Lava well, Mancer's not a bad Constellation prize for Rudy. Uh, obviously, that, that two for one there is pretty painful, but Lava Mancer, uh, uh, Rudy's graveyard's pretty stocked, and Wesco doesn't have a lot going on besides this kitchen things. There's a Path to Exile. Take care of the Grim Lava Mancer. Never mind. Wesco's last card in hand right now is just a land. And Rudy, well, he's out of cards, so this is a big draw step for him. He draws really Tasker. Life's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, no, he can he can still claw his way back in this game. Absolutely. And heck, he can even run a runner, Deceiver Exarch or Pestermite into Splinter Twin. Either way, we're going to find out right now what the draw step is. He's reaching for the graveyard. Perhaps Snapcaster Mage here. He'll pass. Let's go. Just going to draw. He'll attack. Colgon's command, that's going to leave Rudy in this thing. Looks like he might be getting back Olivia Voldaren. Okie dokie. Yeah, th this card at, at this stage with Rudy having the amount of mana he has available, tough card for Craig to beat. Man, Wesco looks like he might be out of gas here. Pester might the draw now. There is Olivia. Pass a turn back. Wesco going to sacrifice maybe the Windswept Teeth. We'll see. Looks like he'll just take a draw step instead. All right, this card is outside of Abrupt Decay range. Mm -hmm. Two Path to Exiles in the main deck for Craig. Two more on the board. Unclear how many he has at this point. And you don't kill Olivia. It just takes over the game and then just wins the game. Rudy's got seven mana. And Craig is out of threats. And he can't cast his threats one at a time because they just get immediately stolen. Olivia's going to finish off Kitchen Finks. Time to untap and take a draw. Sulfur falls the draw there for Riska. Olivia's going to come in here for four points of damage. Conveniently a four-turn clock here as well. So Wesco's going to go down to 12. As you mentioned, Wesco really just can't play a threat. Because if he does, he gets shot, turned into a vampire, and then... Rudy takes it from him. Yep. And that's the big problem right now. Wesco drew a copy of Noble Hierarch. And now, uh, you know, if Craig doesn't play anything, which seems likely, Rudy can deploy Pestermite, tap whatever, and that's a two-turn clock. Yeah. 12 to 6, 6 to none. Wesco feels as though I have to do something. He'll play Tarmogoyf. Shoot that. Looks like he's going to take that.
Tarmogoyf right now is a five power creature. A lightning bolt to draw, and that's probably going to put a close to this one. Some very fortunate draw steps here for Rudy Briska. But it looks like he's going to be able to slide this through. That lightning bolt's going to get the job done. He'll take down Craig Wesco, two games to one. Grixis Wynn will take care of Abzan Company. Olivia Valderin going to take care of things, but really, that Colgan's command, that was the big draw, of Yeah, course. I mean, uh, you know, Craig did a pretty good job of, of containing Rudy's threats. Olivia is a challenging card for him to beat, and at that stage, he was just stripped of all of his remaining resources. He flooded out a little bit there, and uh, Olivia at that stage of the game is going to be really hard for a deck like Craig to overcome.